Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is Microsoft Patch Updates and Zero Day. Today I have two Microsoft related stories I want to share with you. Before I start, you probably remember last week that Microsoft delayed their February patch day. They canceled patch day for the first month ever. There was some undisclosed issue with uh, either one of their patches or their patching system. And as a result, they're not going to release February's patches until March. That said, there has been an update in the last day. Just recently, Microsoft did release one of their February security bulletins. Specifically, they fixed a Adobe Flash vulnerability in Windows. On that last video, I also mentioned that Adobe did release a Flash update. Some versions of Windows, like Windows 8 and Windows 10, have the Flash player built in. So to correspond with that Adobe update, Microsoft did just release an update for Windows that fixes the Adobe Flash player. So if you use Windows 8 or 10, you better go get that. There's also a second story that kind of involves Microsoft patches. Today, Google disclosed a zero day vulnerability in one of Microsoft's products, specifically a particular DLL that ships with Windows, Internet Explorer, and Office. Do you know Google has a pretty strict by the letter uh, disclosure policy. When they find vulnerabilities, they do report them to vendors, but they only give the vendor 90 days to fix the vulnerability. And if they don't, they disclose the vulnerability to the public. And that's why this is a zero day. There is no patch for this particular vulnerability right now. The kind of good news is this vulnerability is not a huge deal. Long story short, it's a information disclosure vulnerability. I won't go into all the technical details, you should check out Google's developer blog post for that. But long story short, this vulnerability involves creating a specially crafted enhanced metadata file. Basically, you can get a file that seems to have a very small bitmap image. But you can craft this file in a way that even though it really has a small amount of image data, it appears to be a bigger file. So when your system tries to show you this image, it grabs some of your random memory and also displays that as well. So long story short, it's a complex flaw that allows attackers to technically gain access to parts of your memory they shouldn't really be able to see, but it's also kind of a random issue where they won't be able to control what parts of memory they actually get access to. So in the scheme of things, I don't think it's a major vulnerability, but it definitely is a vulnerability that Microsoft should fix. Anyways, because Microsoft didn't fix it within 90 days, Google has made it public. I'm not sure if I agree with this policy. I do think that eventually, if a company doesn't fix a flaw, you should disclose it to the world. But I'm not sure if a stance of a hard 90 days is always a good thing. There may be other factors that may uh, force companies to take longer to fix things. For all we know, this could have been an issue that would have had a fix in February's patch day, but because of whatever issue Microsoft had, they were unable to release it. So I'm not sure I agree with, with Google's hard stance on this 90 day policy. Nonetheless, the flaw is out there, so hopefully we'll see a patch from Microsoft soon. So just to summarize, if you're a Windows 8 8 or 10 user, you should definitely get Microsoft's Flash update, and you should keep an eye out for Microsoft to fix this Google vulnerability in the future. That's it for today's news. Thank you for watching.